Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome back to our channel once again. And it is my hope and prayer that the video is going to find you guys in with health. Personally, I am fine as you can see. Kisumu is fantastic and maybe you could also let me know where you're watching the video from the county or the country in case you are out of the republic. Ladies and gentlemen, Riyadhika Shagwa is definitely going to be impeached. And members of parliament are ready for Tuesday. I'm ready for Tuesday. Very ready for Tuesday. I know the Bible tells us don't revenge. But this one, God help me. I'm going to revenge while I'm alive. Let any home swada mimi na iweka maramoja na maneno yendele. Ingine, utuache maneno yetu pia kama independent arm of government, which is parliament. Na hata hii raisu kukuja kutuomba, tutakuomba respectfully, utuachie to deal na hii mutu ambaye ni mundafiki ya mushu. Anajua mwenjimu, naibu ya raisu ni mawana wakisema tunaguzia uwaga. Sisi ya tuusi uwaga wala tununu uwaga. Kila nyani yiko na suki yake. Na yako ndugu yangu. We are waiting for Tuesday. It is true there is an impeachment motion against the deputy president and as member of parliament for Kikuyu, I have already appended my signature to it. And I will support that impeachment motion. To stop a process where government is being undermined and sabotaged from within government. <clears throat> but one thing happened today that could actually spell disaster for William Samoy Arapruto in the long run as far as the impeachment of Riyadhi Gashagwa is concerned. Moses Maseka Wetangula, who is the Speaker of the National Assembly, officially supported the impeachment motion. Patriotic feeling. Shakespeare said, courage is not courage if you use it to hit your head against the wall. It's stupidity. The limit of where to go, what to say, where to say, how to say, and the impact on society. Na waomba wa Kenya, hasa viongozi, upunguze siyasa ya kukata kata inji yetu, kikabila, au kirijon. Kwa zao katiba yeti nasema, every Kenyan has a right to live own property and enjoy peace anywhere and everywhere in our country. Uo natoka masaku, uo natoka kitui, uo natoka kule kwetu, kwenye tunapenda busu manaingo ho, ukeo natoka kisumo, kwa kina oboru, ukimpatea chakula kama hakuna samaki si chakula, ukija hapa kwenu kama hakuna mudokoi, hakuna chakula, Lazima tujue our diversity is the source of our strength. And if you are Taish. Na kama kuna mutu ya yote ya nataka kufuruka amani ya inchi, ikiwa ni mimi, ni tolewe. Akiwa ni makau, atolewe. Akiwa ni kamene, atolewe. Ikiwa ni wewe, atolewe. Because we want peace for everybody. Wetangula is the speaker of the National Assembly. Which means he should actually remain neutral. Last week, and last week, Gladys Bosley was very clear that she was going to ensure that Riyadi Gashagwa is impeached. I am putting you, Riyadi Gashagwa, on notice. You are going to be impeached. I can confirm that to you today. And I shall be in charge of that impeachment myself. And for those who have not understood, uh, you know, they here at home, they call me Cheva Muren, Iron Lady. So I'm telling them, don't worry, no one can touch Ruto when I am there. So now from those two statements, something is now obvious. That clearly, they are now aligned with the thinking of William Roto. And that's why I'm saying the move by Moses Maseka Watangula to support the impeachment of Rigedi Gashagwa is actually going to be counterproductive for William Roto in the long run. In this video, I want to explain to you guys why 
that move by Wetangula to support the impeachment motion against Regedi Gashagwa is going to be counterproductive for William Ruto and the team in future. But before you do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click the subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, allow me to dive in. And again, before I dive in, allow me to also take this opportunity to introduce you guys to Lemfi. Lemfi is a mobile money app for users in the UK, Canada, and the United States of America to send money back to Kenya. They offer the best exchange rates and the money will be delivered instantly into your m -Pesa account, Airtel Money account, and of course, if you want, directly into your bank account. You can use the link in the pinned comment to download the app. Ladies and gentlemen, let us dive in. What are some of the options available for Yadigashagwa? For those who follow this channel, I once explained that Rigadi Gashagwa's options are now very limited. And the best option for Rigadi Gashagwa is actually to resign. But Rigadi Gashagwa has made it very clear, very, very clear to anybody who cares, that he won't resign. He will only resign over his dead body. The main reason why most of us thought that resigning would be the best strategy for Rigadi Gashagwa was simple. That if he is going to be impeached, the Rigadi Gashagwa will never hold any public office in the Republic of Kenya in future. But of course, there's also the second option where he can wait, subject himself to the, the motion. Then, even if he's going to be impeached, then he can seek court guidance. He can go to court and overturn the impeachment motion just the way the former governor for Embu did. But Moses Wetangula actually committed the mistake. Why? Number one, Wetangula is the speaker of the National Assembly. Which means as the speaker of the National Assembly, he should remain impartial throughout, especially as far as this particular matter is concerned. Assuming you are a supporter of Rigedi Gashagwa, then Wetangula sits on the speaker's seat there. He's already pronounced himself on this matter. What happens? In short, most people will interpret the move by Wetangula to be a gesture from William Ruto. William Ruto's coded message to his supporters that as we have decided, Riyadi Gashagwa is going home. So for me, Weta ought to have been uh, impartial because Wetangula is a veteran politician. You ought to have understood that you don't just need, to, you don't just wake up and start supporting things without thinking about the repercussion, unless he has decided that is the direction. Number two, and this is the main reason why Wetangula's statement is not going to work in favor of Ruto and his team. As we speak, anybody can go to court because remember I told you Rigadi Gashagwa has two best options, resign or go to court. So one of Rigadi Gashagwa's allies will definitely go to court. And the ground has not been provided. Weta is now the speaker. So someone can go to court and say, the voting in parliament did not favor us. Why? Because the speaker who is supposed to remain impartial decided to take sides. Are you getting that point? And for me, that's going to be a game changer. So which means Rigadi Gashagwa and his team can just go to court use all these kind of stories that, you know, speaker was very clear even before the vote because ideally, Wetangula should not be speaking on this matter. Number three, in my view, I think it can also be used by the Riga Shagwa and his allies to incite the Kikuyus against William Ruto. Why am I saying so? Ahead of the last election, William Ruto brought some political parties to his side for Kenya, ANC. It was obvious that the entry of those two individuals were going to affect the deputy president, Rigadi Gashagwa, who was then still a running mate. So it was very clear. Rigadi Gashagwa has himself made it very clear that they entered into 
Kenya kwanza without any agreement. So which means Rigathi can go to the mountain, then he can play with the emotions that me as your son, I wanted this, I wanted this, this guy refused, he gave those guys. And lastly, Wetangula as we speak is a co-principal in Kenya Kwanza. Which means his statements carries the weight. He ought to have just kept quiet. I don't know what to think, that's my take. Until next time, this is Lee McQueen. Bye-bye.